even though our brains reward this kind of behavior, even though they make us crave information, they're actually not very good at processing information with the intensity and the quantity and the speed we find ourselves surrounded by today. And the reason is that our short-term working memory has a very small capacity. Working memory is essentially the contents of your consciousness at any given moment. What you're aware of is in your working memory. What you're not aware of is not in your working memory. And you probably remember at least the title of a famous paper uh, that came out, I think, in the 1950s. It was called, I think, The Magical Number 7. Uh, and the author of it said that it looked like we could hold in our working memory and our consciousness around seven pieces of information at once. And that was the maximum. And the thrust of his paper was, you know, this is a very small store of information. And since then, we found that actually that's an overstatement, that our working memory probably can only hold somewhere between two and four pieces of information at any given time. And when we take in too much information at once, what happens inevitably is that we, we start having this, this phenomenon where things are coming into and out of our working memory, out, into and out of our consci consciousness, really, really quickly. Because as soon as you take in a new bit of information uh, through whatever screen you happen to be looking at, uh, some other piece of information in your working memory has to leave, has to exit in order to make room for the new piece of information. And when this happens, and, and psychologists, particularly educational psychologists, have been studying this, particularly at this phenomenon, particularly as it relates to education for a long time, is you suffer, quite literally, cognitive overload. You're overloading your mind. You're overloading your working memory. And when that happens, you're never paying close attention to anything. You're never focusing on one thing for an extended period of time. And unfortunately, there are all sorts of important intellectual processes that as a result, get short-circuited. They never happen because they require us not to take in constant information, but to filter out information and to focus on one thing. Mm -hmm.